the men are arranging the concert now, and they're so anxious for us both to be in it, although there'll be no girls at all. Please say you will. Do I have to? Yes, you do. Keeping their spirits up is an important part of the cure, and it's so very little to ask. What's going on? The men are putting on a concert. Can I help? Edith has it under control. I do if Mary's willing. Oh, right. One song and that's your lot. What time is Dr. Clarkson's round? It's already happened. Without me, why? I'm not very late. We didn't see the need to wait. Mrs. Hughes, I need to steal you for a minute. I have to check the linen box. But I went over them last week. Very good, lady. I'll get started. Surely I can... Anna. Can you tell Mrs. Patmore it'd be easier for me to go through the menus this afternoon? Of course, your ladyship. Cousin Cora. Please, can it wait? I've a mountain to get through. But I don't understand. The patients are always served their luncheon at half past twelve. Well, today they'll be served at one. Is this something I can help with? Mrs. Patmore seems to be disobeying my instructions, and I can't get to the reason why. If you mean the patient's new lunchtime, her ladyship felt that it made the staff luncheon unreasonably early. She moved it so that they could eat at noon. But that will interfere with the nurse's shifts. Oh, no, she's altered those two. Has she indeed? Well, we'll see about that. It's always a question of when. May I have a word? Can it wait? No, it cannot wait. I've just come from downstairs, where I learned that my timetable has been wantonly disregarded. If you mean the new lunchtime, the wretched servants were having to eat at 11 and then starve until their tea at 6. So, I found... I've also discovered that you've torn up the nurse's timetable. I haven't torn up anything. Of course, it would be foolish to accuse you of being unprofessional since you've never had a profession in your life. No, just a minute. You may think that you have the right to ordain the universe, but in this field... No, not in this field. In this house, yes, I do have the right. Given me by Dr. Clarkson and by the law of the land. This is my house. And I am in charge, right alongside you. And if you would stop your bullying... That's enough. I will not listen to this. If I am not appreciated here, I will seek some other place where I will make a difference. Good. I mean it. I cannot operate where I am not valued. You must see that. Certainly. I shall go. I will. Perhaps it would be best. I repeat. I mean it. I'm sure you do, and so do I. 